our topic is behavior of gases now uh, we will study about that ideal gas ideal gas is that gas which obeys all the laws uh, all the gas laws ideal gas concept is actually no gas is perfectly ideal there are some conditions for the uh, gas to show ideality actually is a note uh, like ideal gas conditions are given in our notes which you can refer from our crash booklet okay now ideal gas equation is pv is equal to nrt now uh, it obeys all the laws like one number one is boyle's law second is charles law third is gay lussac's law fourth is avogadro law now it is derived from these four laws okay now p1 v1 over n1 t1 is equal to p2 p v2 over n2 t2 now 1 and 2 represent the two different conditions in which the gas is undergoing a chemical change or gas is undergoing any change now if in case of an open uh, vessel what happens is p and v are constant open vessel concept is important because uh, there are some questions based on this which are in uh, like engineering and medical entrances now n1 t1 is equal to n2 t2 as p and v are constant now for example a gas was take an example a gas is in uh, in an open container it is heated from 27 degree celsius to 127 degree celsius now the fraction of original amount of gas if we want to calculate we can apply directly the formula n1 t1 is equal to n2 t2 or we can write n1 over n2 is equal to t2 over t1 now uh, since the temperature are given 27 degree celsius first we convert it into kelvin now uh, first we uh, like for uh, finding the value in kelvin we add 27 degree celsius plus 273 now the sum comes out to be 400 nahi nee, uh, the sum comes out to be 300 now uh, we apply this in uh, the formula given now 400 over 300 comes out to be 4 by 3 now this uh, by this we can find out that initial moles are 4 and the final moles are 3 so number of gas expelled will be 1 because by subtracting these two we can calculate the number of moles gas expelled now the fraction of air expelled comes out to be 1 by 4 1 by 4 why because uh, 1 is the gas expelled and 4 is the total gas which uh, total amount of gas now now the next law we explain is gram's law of diffusion now we can use the diffusion means intermixing of gases for we this we have a law the why uh, we can calculate the rate of diffusion of two gases we can relate it with the formula like ra over rb is equal to under root of db over da is equal to under root of mb over ma mb and ma are the molar masses of the gases db and da are the densities of the gases now uh, if we change the conditions like temperature then uh, we can uh, use a formula r1 by r2 is equal to under root of t1 d2 over t2 d1 or which is equal to under root of t1 by t2 t1 m2 over t2 m1 now we can also relate uh, ra and rb like v1 over t1 over v2 over t2 where t1 and t2 are the time or ta and tb are the time required for diffusion of the same volume of gas if the volume is same we can ignore v1 and v2 so ta over tb is equal to under root of mb over ma now suppose we take an example like if we have a gas cn h2n plus 2 if diffuses through the porous plug at 1 by 6th the rate of diffusion of hydrogen gas now under identical conditions if we find out the molecular formula of the gas how can we find out the molecular formula of the gas by using the relation r1 by r2 is equal to under root of m2 by m1 so since the rate of diffusion is given like 1 by 6 is equal to under root of mg over 2 2 is the molar mass of hydrogen gas so m by 2 is equal to 36 that comes out to be 72 now 72 is the molar mass of cn h2n plus 2 now cn h2n plus 2 is equal to 72 so we can easily find out the value of n which is equal to 5 so the formula is c5h12 this is our formula